This week on Headhunter Chronicles. This week on Headhunter Chronicles, Jason is in South Africa going for the Springbuck Challenge. His goal is to try and get all four of the subspecies down on one trip. We'll start hunting all over till we get your list down here. Okay, and yeah. I just want to say welcome back and Oh, it's good to be back. Yeah, we're glad to have you guys back. And uh, yeah, no, I'm excited about bouncing around and seeing the countryside. You know, seeing all of South Africa. It's so. just experience some different, different weather too. Yeah. <laughs> Jason didn't want to waste any time his first day in camp. So after putting their strategy together, they were off to try and find their first spring buck. You know, Jason, going after all four the spring buck, hopefully we can get all four now, one trip. After a little riding and glassing, they spotted their first group. Gideon told Jason he thought there was a shooter in the group, so they hopped off the truck and started that way to see if they could sneak up on him and get a closer look. Yeah, they're 195. Going across, we can just use his trees. Okay. Misranged it. We're gonna go look at the arrow right now. The rangefinder hit some grass, and I, I, I thought they were for. He said he called out 35, and I knew they were a little bit further than that, so I tried it anyways, and I'm fairly certain we missed. But let's go try and see what we can find the arrow. They might not have went far. Huh? It's no good. Put our first stock on a white spring buck and uh, the, the grass is kind of high. The grass got us. He, Gideon ranged it and said 35. I thought it was a little wrong because I was already ranging it with mine a little bit, but I went for the shot. I, I put 45 on him and he was actually 51. So, hey, that's hunting. We're going to go try to do it again.
After jumping back in the truck and covering some more ground, they spotted another spring buck. We'll drive like that, see if we can, how close we can get. Okay. There's more of them coming this way. How does Elite Archery build the most accurate bows in the industry? It all starts with innovative design and comes together by using the best materials available. Add the revolutionary two-track cam system and you've got the smoothest draw, highest let off, and a rock solid back wall, all backed by the industry's only lifetime fully transferable warranty. That's how Elite Archery delivers the most accurate bows in the business. See what the excitement's all about today at your local Elite dealer. This segment is brought to you by Epic Broadheads. Performance, penetration, and a payday for your taxidermist. We backed out of those ones. There was three of them there, but they're just young little rams. So Gideon made the call that we were going to let those ones go, and we'll keep looking for some more. With the day warming up, Gideon told Jason that these spring buck were hitting this water hole pretty steady. So they decided to give the blind a try. Jason, we had do some good stalks this morning, and that's all you want. Gary, I got some good pictures here from spring buck in this blind. They've been coming in every day? Blind. Yes, every day. Okay. About from 11 o'clock onwards. Let's try. All right. This is pretty cool. They got this thing set up like a little ant hill. They've got some feed out. These spring buck have been coming into some feed, so I'm kind of excited to sit in here this afternoon and see what comes in. After seeing an assortment of animals, Jason finally had a spring buck heading his way.
stay on it, stay on it. Is that the one? Yeah, it's still in there. Uh, copper spring buck, didn't go too far. We shot him at about 18 yards and the arrow's laying at 39 yards. Looks like the epic broadhead did his job. The truck just got here, they kind of call it blind discipline. You don't want to get out and make a bunch of action and noise around here. Don't want the animals getting used to a lot of activity around the blind. We blew the stock on the white spring buck this morning, but we sat in the blind for a couple of hours and this uh, copper spring buck came in and they're great little animals. I've, I've shot the common spring buck, but I've never I've even been around the copper and, and that, this is the first time I've ever got to see one. The epic broadhead did a job. Horse Oak started in West Point, Mississippi just 25 years ago. This is home. It's like Mayberry. Everybody knows everybody. Oh, it's Mayberry, all right. Nobody gets in a hurry around here unless it's hunting season. I've been cutting them boys' hair for 25 years, and I'm still cutting. We gotta charge your cubs double because his head's so big. Those guys at Mossy Oak, they know how to tear up a truck. It always gets worse during hunting season. Man, the turkeys are gobbling. You got to shit. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Got you covered, Barney. Let's go. With one down and three to go, Jason hit the field early the next morning in search of that next spring buck. Jason, I told you it's going to be a little jet -ins. Yeah, these white ones are tough, huh? We just spotted some white ones. They're about 200 yards up here. We're going to try to put a stock on them, see if we can get on them like we did yesterday. finished. We got our white spring buck. Pretty tough little stock. We've been playing cat and mouse with them all morning and uh, we tried yesterday and missed a shot and then we got a shot off right now. It's about 50 yard shot and it looks like I shot it a little bit low but I think it's going to be okay. We're going to go find the arrow, find some blood and give them some time. I'm standing right in here somewhere but I'm going to try to look for the arrow. Yesterday that arrow went at like another 29 yards so who knows how far that arrow went. Here it is. Kind of weird. Snap the broadhead off and the insert. Hey Gideon, I got some blood and uh, looks like it's a little bit low and a little bit far back. Got some stomach content, some blood here. He's, he's definitely leaving blood. Yeah, now you can see all the blood in the guts, huh? It's a little bit different. They, these animals in, in Africa, they're, they're, all their vitals are forward. They're kind of protected by their leg bones, and it's a brutal mistake just shooting a little bit to the right or a little bit to the left. But we've definitely got blood. We definitely got stomach content, and uh, it just you've got to you've got to train yourself before you come to Africa to shoot a little bit more forward than what you're used to. It, it just it just happens. We're not going to let this guy get away. Well, we're going to give him some time, and we will find him. 
right down at. You see that thick green tree? Yeah. The big one straight like this. Yeah. Go down of him. You just see the horns. I've never seen this before, Gideon. This is pretty cool. Yes, Jason, that spring mark is known for when they're dying. They get this hair all straight up. Call it like they pronk. They pronk? Yes. Okay. That's how they impress females when they get to mating. Pull their backs in like this and this hair come up straight. There's a sweet smell in you. You can actually smell in you. Yeah. That's where their scent glands all down through here? Yes, and you can see all. You can see the color of the scenting right there. Yeah. That's actually where they got their name from, is the spring mark. The way they pull their backs up like that and they uh -huh. just jump, jump, jump to impress the females. So when they, they, they do, this comes up and then they do that little, actually they spring up and actually arch their back. Yes. And that's just for impre to impress them. Yes. Well, we got our white spring buck. Um, he didn't go maybe 150 to 200 yards and lay down. He didn't suffer a long time. That's the main thing. You, you hate to wound an animal and you hate to have him suffering. So it's just uh, good to have him down and now he's coming to America. down two to go hopefully either a common or a black one will come in this afternoon just like yesterday we're gonna get in the blind about 10 o'clock and see what comes in we got our white one this morning so hopefully we can get two spring buck in one day that'd be pretty cool there's two black ones So we're just going to give him a few more minutes and we'll go check him out. That's a nice spring buck, huh? <laughs> Man, they're little. Instant blood. I mean, from where the time we shot him blood all the way to here. It's a, it's a really nice one. Good old mature animal. Still comes around good, good and long. And he's got a white face, really cool little white face on him. One more to go. We got the common to go and I can't wait. We got two in one day. I can't believe it. I never would have thought we, we'd get one. And we got the white one this morning on spot and stock. Got in the blind this afternoon and got a black one. With only one subspecies left to shoot, Jason decided to head back to the blind, and it wasn't long before that decision paid off. Backwards, so he won't get any bigger anything. If you like him, you want to shoot him, you shoot him. 
four. Only five o'clock. We got time to go look at him. It was a perfect shot, so he's not going anywhere. As soon as he turned, he had blood all over his backside, so he's good to go. Full pass through. A little bit of damage on the tip, but nothing wrong with the blades at all. Be good varmint arrow now. That's four for four. Three in one day. White Springbok this morning on spot and stock. Went and set in the blind this afternoon. Got our black one. And then this evening we shot a common. So he's the biggest one so far, huh? I'm just glad we got all four of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and for me, as you have the common, it's the last one of the four. And for me, they still stays the prettiest of all of them. It's got all the markings on the face, on the tail. Just when they stand out in that open grassland, they, they're pretty impressive. Hey, we got our common spring buck. That finishes our spring buck challenge here in the Northern Cape of South Africa with Watts Trophy hunting.